Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to update your Windows 10 and if you're receiving this error code that is 0x8007000D. So the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on update and security and then click on troubleshoot. Now click on additional troubleshooters. Click on Windows update and then click on run the troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 10 once again. But still you are receiving the error message in that case, restart Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. For this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Make a double click on Windows update and set the startup type as automatic. Then click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now with Windows update selected over here, click on restart the service. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, click on restart the service. Now once done, update your Windows 11 once again but still you are receiving the error message then use Microsoft update catalog so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website here enter the update which is giving you the error message suppose this is the name of the update which is giving me the error message so you have to go ahead and write down the name of the update over here and then click on search and then now select your version in my case uh, let me check so type in w i n v e r that is winver and then click on winver and over here it will show your version in my case it's, it's 21 h2 so find out your version so 21 h2 is this one because i have 64 bit operating system but it's window ltsb so i have to find out 21H2 mm, in my case uh, I have x 64 bit operating system so which one should be mine 21H2 21H2 x64 so this one is the right one because it's 21H2 x64 base system for me and it is for Windows 10 it's both for Windows 10 LTSB Windows 10 1903 and later this is this is the right one select the right update for your computer and then click on download and then click on this hyperlink and if nothing happens, make a right click, then click on save link as, and then you can set the location as desktop, then click on save. Now click on this up arrow and then click on keep, and this will download the update. Now once the download is complete, run this file, install it, and after the installation, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can delete this update from your desktop. Now, still you are receiving the error message. In that case, you can use Windows 10 Update Assistant. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. And over here, you can see Windows Update Assistant. Click on Update now. Now, run this exe file. Click on it. And then click on Yes to allow. Now, this will load Windows Update Assistant. If there is any update, it will show you the install option or update option. In my case, it's already up to date. Now, the next step is to reset Windows Update components. For this, copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So, copy the command till here. And then open Notepad on your computer. So, type in Notepad. Click on it. Then paste all the commands over here and then click on file then click on save as name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files and set it to desktop click on save and then go to desktop find wufix bat file make a right click then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening this file 
as an administrator click on yes to allow now first of all it will stop all the windows update services then it will run some scans now the scan will take time because there are a couple of scans now once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and after the restart restart your computer and then try to update your windows 10 once again now in case if nothing is working you can use media creation tool to update your windows 10 go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. So one of the steps should help you to get rid of this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.